This is their moment to samba. This summer will be their carnival. Show your American spirit. The official online shop at USA Swimming. Exclusively at swimoutlet.com. Happy to check that box off. <laughs> that was, you know, obviously the number one goal that we wanted to have here. Not super pumped with the time, but um, made the team. And that's really the, the biggest thing about coming here. Um, it's probably more nerve wracking here than it is at the Olympics. So, you know, being able to get past that. Metal predictions are at the end of the video. Stay tuned. Michael Phelps is back for his fifth Olympic Games, like a one-man Fast and Furious franchise. However, this time, he's focused on fewer events, 100 and 200 fly, 200 IM, and the 400 medley relay. Will he swim on the freestyle relays? Who knows? But after studying the team medal count over the past Olympic Games, Phelps matters. Back in 2004, Phelps contributed eight medals to Team USA's 28 total medals. In 2008, Phelps pushed eight medals into the Team USA column for a total of 31. In 2012, Phelps helped Team USA with six medals, contributing to their tally of 31 again. Over the last three Olympic Games, Phelps' 22 Olympic medals make up 24% of the total medal count. So, yeah, the greatest of all time matters. Based on Michael Phelps' performance at the US Olympic Trials, what's he thinking heading into Rio? We talk so much about it, but it's so true. You know, I came back because I wanted to. I wanted to do this for me. Um, and that's what I did. Um, Sure, we weren't super happy with the times, but you know what? I got a spot on the team. We have a couple weeks to, uh, to, to fix some things, and, and um, I know that if I want to be anywhere on the podium, um, some of those times are going to have to be a lot faster. On Team USA's men's side, new talent is rising, like Ryan Murphy. But established stars like Mac Reavers didn't make the team. And Ryan Lochte, who contributed five medals in 2012, is only in two events in Rio, 200 IM and the 4x200 freestyle relay. Then there's Nathan Adrian, quiet, dependable, the defending Olympic champion in the hunter freestyle. But he's facing intense competition globally, and specifically from the Aussie physicist, the professor, Cameron McAvoy. Nathan's a leader on Team USA. What's he thinking? We're excited. Now we can, uh, you know, again, I think, you know, we, we say it over and over, sound like a broken record, but trials is about racing, getting your hand on the wall. Uh, now we can focus a little bit more on performance, I think. <laughs> uh, yes and no. I mean, certainly we want to come home under 25, but again, it's, it's a give and take. Um, you know, I, I need to be out under 23 and back under 25, so figuring out how to do both is a tough one. Missy Franklin struggled at U.S. Olympic trials, but secured a respectable schedule of three events. 200 free, 4x200 freestyle relay, and 200 backstroke. In 2012, she contributed four medals. In 2016, she's got a fight on her hands to contribute three. How top of mind is this challenge ahead, especially in the 200 backstroke for the biggest female star in swimming? Absolutely, absolutely. It shows me that I'm really going to have to step up this summer, and I really feel like I can do that. And I'm going to put a lot of work in the next month. I have a lot of stuff I need to work on, a lot of stuff I can make room for improvement for. So uh, really looking forward to that and, and fighting for that, that medal this summer. I'll have a cheat meal tonight with family and then tomorrow uh, they have a weight room secured for us and my trainer is still going to be here so I'll hop in the pool, I'll get some really good PT done and get some weights in and keep on chugging. The equalizer is the greatest female freestyler of all time, Katie Ledecky. Yes, she's got more to do to secure that title, but she's well on her way. Katie's got the 200, 400, 800 freestyle and the 4x200 freestyle relay. Four medals is an easy bet. Three more than she contributed in 2012. For Ledecky, with the biggest schedule on the women's side, she has a lot to say about the 4x200 freestyle relay. Yeah, it's, it's looking great. I think it's been looking great the last couple of years, and um, I think we just have to continue to get faster over the next couple of weeks and push each other and practice our relay starts. And, um, you know, we're not going to underestimate in any other country. There are some really fast groups of 200 freestylers from a number of different countries that we have to watch out for, so um, we're looking forward to it going forward. Team Metal Predictions. I've got some help from our friends, the swim nerds at Swimulator. The data, it's magical and proprietary, but we'll break down the metrics as we near the Olympics. By country, these are individual medal predictions and do not account for relays. And the predictions are not rounded up or down. Team USA men and women, 
17.3 medals. That's a tough number, not good, but I'd pepper in six more medals for the relays, bringing the total to 23.3 medals. That's the lowest since the 1988 Olympics, when Team USA won 18 total medals. In my opinion, Team USA in Rio is really competing against itself historically. It's up to them to make their mark in history. Second, Australia comes in at 12.5 without relays. Third, Japan lands 6.6 .6 medals without relays. Fourth, Hungary at 5.3 medals. No relays factored in. Fifth, Great Britain at 5.2 medals. These are our predictions. We'll dive into the metrics a lot as we near Rio. But who cares what we think? What do you think? was was so hard and such a disappointment and I don't think I've ever been so proud of myself being able to come back so quickly from that and say you know what I'm not done I'm not done fighting and I'm not done believing in myself and to get up there tonight and not only get a spot on the relay but get an individual spot as well behind Katie I am so honored and just so happy 